guys and welcome to my channel today's video is a decorate with me Christmas edition you guys I looked up I went to Hobby Lobby after Black Friday and they had a Christmas tree in there that was $99 now the original price for this tree was $199 but I got it for $99 and I am just so excited. I had wanted a tree. I have a tree already, but it's a flock tree. And I really just didn't want to put up with the mess. You know, the flock tree is doing all this extra stuff. So I really just wanted a green tree. And that's exactly what I got from Hobby Lobby. And it was only $99. So I'm really excited to be decorating this tree. This is our first tree with our daughter. Last year when we had the tree, she really, she was only like two and a half months old, so she didn't know anything about the tree. But this year she gets to actually see the tree. She's walking around. She's very observant. So I'm really excited to see how she is going to be with the tree. I'm kind of nervous at the same time, you guys, because, you know, with the ornaments and, you know, everything, I don't know how she's going to act. So I'm really excited about the tree, but I'm nervous at the same time. So of course, with any Christmas tree that you have, you always have to make sure that you fluff out your tree. I touched every branch, every twig, everything that you can think of on this tree, I touched and pulled out myself. It took me about an hour to fluff out this tree. And the thing about a tree, you guys, and I, I know a lot of people, you know, they just put their tree up, put the ornaments on it, but you guys, I don't go for the Charlie Brown look, okay? Like, that's just not me. So I have to make sure that I fluff out this tree. And anytime that I see a tree that's like not fluffed out, I think like, man, did that tree look like it was caught in a brush fire? Or I automatically think about Charlie Brown. And I just don't go for that look. So even though it took me a lot of time to fluff this tree out, in the end of the video, you guys will see why it is so so gorgeous and I just can't believe I got this tree for 99 bucks but you guys just continue watching and I will kind of touch and go with you guys as I go along with the video <laughs> So you guys this is a tree as I'm fluffing it out and I'm almost done I still have a little bit more to go but doesn't this look like something like a tree that was in the forest like it looks so real once it's all fluffed out and I really love this tree you guys I'm not even gonna lie like I believe Hobby Lobby still have the sale going on this tree I believe is still $99 now it's $99 and it's not pre-lit so I honestly I love pre-lit Christmas trees but at the same point in time I like to add in extra lights anyway and the pre-lit tree was actually on sale the pre-lit tree I believe was $2.99 and they had it on sale for $1.99 and I'm like who's gonna pay an extra extra hundred dollars for a tree with lights I'll just go buy the lights because they I think the lights were like $5.99 but they were 25% off at Hobby Lobby so I just went ahead and got the tree and I really really love it and as you guys can see I'm still moving around the little branches and everything and that's because it's like a soccer ball hole that I'm trying to fill up like any type of hole that you see I really really like to fill it up and I don't like for anything like that to show but gosh it's just so beautiful moving along to the mesh that I put on my tree I chose the red with the lime green stripe and I also have a solid lime green color these two together are so beautiful and right here you're just going to see me trying to see how I want the ribbon to start on the tree. I know you, this sounds kind of crazy but yes it's really important to me to know what my tree ribbon is going to or mesh is going to look like when I put it on the tree so that when I put it on the tree I don't have to take it back down because they get stuck together. They got like the wire end on them so they really got caught together a lot. So instead of me doing an angel or a star on top of my tree, I actually want to create my own tree topper and I've never done this before, but when I got into Hobby Lobby, I was really, really inspired. So these are the items that I use for my tree toppers and I think they are very, very pretty and it's just what I want. So as you can see, I'm just trying to stick them into the tree and this is a lot of work you guys because I'm trying to visualize in my head exactly how I want it to be, but at the same time, I'm trying to place them 
and the tree was just acting crazy like some of the items were slipping down too far some of them just wasn't sitting up high enough so i really had to maneuver around a lot in the tree to make sure that my tree topper stood out and that it wasn't just hidden by everything with the tree i really wanted this to be a focal point once you seen everything together like oh man you know that tree topper is amazing like that's how i wanted people to think or to look at my tree topper This is what the tree topper looks like so far. I still have to go in and kind of pull them apart just a little bit to kind of give it more of a funky look. But so far so good you guys. That lime green and red is really complementing each other and it looks very very good. I think I may end up going back to Hobby Lobby and picking up another tree topper to put here to kind of make it more fuller. But right now I'm really really loving it. So I'm moving into my ribbon and like I had mentioned to you guys before this took me a long time to do. I see a lot of people tuck their ribbon into their tree and kind of hide it away and it looks like it's just coming out of nowhere but I didn't want my mesh to look like that. I don't know why I keep saying ribbon please forgive me but this is what I wanted my mesh to look like. I did not want to tuck it into the tree. For some reason it just wasn't going with me and I was just like yeah nah this this ain't the one. So I just ended up making it look more so like it's just flowing around the tree and not so much as being tucked into the tree. So when I say flowing, I mean as if like you're a ribbon and you know how the ribbon just kind of turn just a little bit around the way. That's how I wanted it to be. So here's a close up on what I meant by I do not like to tuck my mesh into the tree but you see where it kind of looks like it's tucked in the tree but it's really not and it has that loop like how you're tying a bow on your shoestring that's how I wanted it to look so the way I lined up my mesh is I have lime green on top and then my lime green is on the bottom so anytime that my lime green is on top my red and lime green is at the bottom and it is kind of going back and forth with each other I know you guys are probably like sis what happened to the toyland idea or theme that you were going to do you guys i changed my mind when i went back into hobby lobby i was just like you know i'm really not feeling a toy theme anymore so i ended up just going with something very bright lime green reds and i also got my elf on the shelf you guys you know i had to have my elf and you guys will see him in a few minutes but I just decided to change my mind um, from the Toyland theme and I really really just got stuck with I really want lime greens and reds and just really really bright colors on this tree. So I try to focus all of my bigger ornaments at the bottom of the tree to kind of give it more depth. It kind of makes it look more bigger. I am kind of worried if Zoe's going to pull them off the tree but hey what the heck she's just a baby right? So I'm putting all of my big ornaments at the bottom of the tree and I'm working my way up. So it's going to be big ornaments at the bottom, medium sized ornaments in the middle, and of course small ornaments at the top. And that's just how I'm going to keep everything going. So as you guys can see, I already put my Merry Christmas sign on the top. It just has like a little um, gold little strap onto it. 
that it's a hanger really pretty much and I'm just kind of putting it into the tree and I'm also going to have my elf sitting on this Merry Christmas just to kind of make it like man he's really sitting up there and I had to put him somewhere so I had to put him on my tree <laughs> I found these really really cute candy canes at Hobby Lobby you guys I don't know if you know this or not but Hobby Lobby still has a sale on Christmas decorations and they're 50% off so when I went into Hobby Lobby I really picked up what I wanted what I felt like I needed even though I probably didn't need it and that's just what I'm going with so I said that I was going to try these candy canes not really sure where I'm going to put them but I'm just I know I'm going to put them somewhere around my tree just to kind of see how they look and to give it more color other than just red and greens I also want to throw a little bit of white in there as well I have some de decor pillows in my house and as you guys can see that pillow in the back it says it's the most wonderful time of the year that's white and red and it also has green so I really want to throw some white in there as well to bring my whole room together So you guys already know I had to put a snowman onto my tree. That's just something that I've always have done. I always have to make sure I have a snowman no matter what. Even though I don't want it to snow, like I truly do not want it to snow, but I have to put a snowman on my tree. In order to incorporate that red and white color into the room, I also picked up these red and white peppermint candies, snowflake candies that can go onto the tree. And you guys, aren't they the cutest thing? Like they are so cute. And believe it or not, I believe these were $3.99 with 50% off at Hobby Lobby. So I really got a good deal on these. <laughs> So these are the other ornaments I'm going to be putting around my tree. Yes, I did put some gold in there um, just to kind of give it more because I've seen the ornaments that were there. They were like red and green, gold and green, and some of the big ones have gold in it as well. So I went ahead and incorporated the gold in there. And what you guys are going to see me doing, you're going to see me putting some of the ornaments to the very back of the tree. And that's to kind of give it more of a deep look and so that you won't look like you're just looking at a tree with just ornaments hanging on the outside. I also like to put my ornaments on the inside of the tree as well to make it look like there's something behind it. I'm adding more sticks to the tree and I'm using the red and white sticks and I also have some berries that was left over from the topper and I think that this is just going to pull my whole tree together because the topper is kind of wild with things sticking out and I think that it's going to really balance my tree by me putting these sticks around my tree and you guys will see at the very end what I mean but I'm adding these sticks into a zigzag motion so just think of a zigzag and that's exactly how I'm placing them onto my tree. I'm sure all of you can agree with me on this but anytime that you're decorating a tree you always take a step back to look at the tree and that's exactly what I did and by doing this I realized I needed to add more ornaments and I also had to move some ornaments around and I took some ornaments away and while I was doing this the tree you guys it just I wasn't feeling it it was missing something so what I ended up doing was I added more mesh to the bottom of my tree and I know I still don't have a tree skirt yet but there were so many to choose from and I think by me going into Hobby Lobby and seeing so many of the tree skirts it really just kind of threw my vision off so I wanted to put my tree together first and decorate it and so that when I go to Hobby Lobby I'm able to pick the exact tree skirt that I want because it's too cold to be going back and forth like 
it's I'm going to the store one time just one time and that's it so now after I have finished my tree and everything I know the exact tree skirt that I want I'm just hoping that it's still there if that tree skirt is not there you guys I'm not playing I'm taking everything back <laughs> I'm just kidding. I won't take it back. I just have to go with a different tree skirt. But yeah, let's just hope it's still there. So you guys this is what my tree looks like completely finished the only thing I need to do is to get my tree skirt but I am so proud I'm so happy of how my tree turned out it looks very very good I don't know what personality took over this time because you know I got 13 of them but this is what my tree looks like and it took me four hours to complete this tree four hours and two cups of coffee so I'm just on cloud 449 right now. But thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope that you like the way my tree turned out. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I know this video was late. I just had to make sure that my editing was correct. But I will see you guys on Wednesday. This is